Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. What's going on, guys? I heard. What did I break today? Uh, well, no, no, we are like something is gonna break the internet. It's Evie yes. going NPR. That's that's it, guys. It's yes. now in. And so basically, what it does is it's a new node. It's a new node, and it converts the output of a BSD uh, of a BSDF um, node and converts it directly to, to a color that you that you can work with. So the basic uh, workflow is to put the color back into an emission node, so you can see the the color. So here it's a simple pass through. Um, set up, but you can use the same node to um, create some custom lighting uh, node tree. So basically, what you can see what? is some custom lighting done with the only this node. So you're basically just taking the output color and then you're running it through a, a few color ramps. Yeah, or ma math operations, so I can like do some uh, stuff like changing the the um, the breakpoint, mm, nice. the mix point, and we can do more than this. We can just mix the the two workflow can mix. The NPR and the PPR <laughs> together. <laughs> so you have a basically a slider to connect NPR yeah. with PVR. Yeah, and make adjustments so you can cu custom customize your look. You want. That's awesome, and it's only with one node. Yes, and uh, the author of of Dispatch is yes. uh, Kawaki. Kawaki. Kanzaki Kanzaki. Here? Here. So he's contributed by the community. Yeah. And he proposed some other notes that um, we agreed that would be better suited for an add-on. Yeah. Uh, so it would be submitted as an add-on and we'll maybe... Ship it with Blender. Yeah. yeah. Like an NPR... Add-on. Uh, add-on, yes. That's nice. This is only for EV, right? It's yes. Not, not it's for not cycles work, yet. Not working for cycles. Yes. Yet. Yet. But eventually. Eventually. <laughs> eventually. It's not my uh, <laughs> on my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And I also heard. I heard so many things. I don't know. There's a little bird here. That is. Uh? Yes. About <laughs> also a, another node, right? That it was on cycles and now is ported to Eevee. Yes, because uh, I, I wasn't aware that it wasn't working <laughs> in Eevee. And it's the the ambient occlusion node. That ambient occlusion. That now uh, just display the ambient occlusion uh, factor that's computed with the uh, render settings. Yeah. So you have to, to have it enabled to do to, to it to work. Yeah. But you can even go further and couple the new uh, shadow to RGB node with the ambient occlusion to get like Whoa. some <laughs> custom ambient uh, occlusion colors. And it. Uh, yeah, it is based on proximity. So if you have like yeah. geometry, it will change the color depending on. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I mean, well. Amazing. <laughs> the possibilities are amazing. Yeah. And oh, that's amazing. To be, yeah, you can change the lighting and everything yeah. works. Wow, that is so cool. That's awesome. This is available right now on Eevee in Blender yep. 2.8, so everybody can try it out. Yep. And go make PVR stuff, guys. Go crazy, guys. Yeah, awesome. Thank you very much, Clement. Bye. Bye-bye. Play with it.